Today's lesson then is a continuation of our study on plants. Think Pear Share is a strategy um, that I've been using for the last couple of months in my lessons. It's a strategy I probably always thought I was using, where I use a lot of pair work because I'm a science teacher. And I always thought, oh, I'm doing Think Pear Share because they're always in pairs. But when I, when I looked at the strategy in detail and broke it down into the three sections, it's quite different to plan it out as thinking in silence on their own. And I timed that for about a minute. Um, pair work then again for two minutes where they pair up. And then the third section then sharing, where I take feedback from each group. So this is our first activity today is a think pair share. So the first part is one minute thinking. There are nine labels. Uh, you're going to think for one minute about those nine labels. Using think pair share in the science classroom or any classroom uh, allows really easy activation of the key skill working with others. Specifically, you know, the students work initially on their own and also they're managing information. Once they then pair up, they are now working with others, maybe sometimes dealing with conflict. If somebody has a different answer to theirs, they have to resolve that issue because the requirement for the share element is that they will have a consensus. Okay, time up for thinking. The good thing about Think Pair Share now is that you just can turn to your partner and you guys have a minute to share your information together now. No, I don't think so. Number six. I think that I think a wall. I don't know. I think uh, it's better because uh, it, you get like more questions covered in less, like in less space of time. So like over the course of one class, you get more covered. I think it also makes you more engaged because you're talking to other people instead of just sitting there passively. I think it's much better and like, much more helpful because you have like different perspectives of what could be an answer from like your peers and it's much more helpful in what you could do in like homework and classwork. So which one of those do you think? Is it label one or label five or label six? Which one do you think? I'd say one. Very good. I can assess the learning uh, of the students throughout the think pair share activity by circulating in the classroom. By using an activity where the students are engaged, it frees me up to move between the groups. Um, as much as possible, I like to leave them to think quietly on their own during the first part. But while they're paired up and talking, it gives me a chance to circulate around and maybe identify if one or two groups or pairs are not really on track. Um, I can then rectify this or assess this again when we share. So we ask maybe those groups to share a piece of information and that gives me an opportunity to correct any misconception or any misunderstanding to the whole group. So again, no one student or pair is singled out. The whole group is responding at that point. Number three, Shane, and then your group is off the hook. What else did you and Thomas think? Nucleus. Nucleus, well done. I suppose one of the major challenges of using Think Pair Share is it does take a little bit of planning in advance because without the timer element, um, the students can lose focus a little bit. 30 seconds left. Having a, a timer and a timing element to the strategy means the students know what to expect, they know how long they need to do this for, and they're also looking forward to the next, next part of the task. Um, I find Think Pair Share a fairly powerful tool in the classroom uh, for engaging students. The task is fairly clearly set out, so there's three elements to the activity. And uh, for that reason, the students are only engaged on one element of the task for a set amount of time.